Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So last time we were here, we went through these apartments, which were kind of like a dungeon. And now we're going to have uh, this way. And today's going to probably be a more dialogue heavy episode. I saw Devic's new starship at the spaceport before quarantine. They say it's the fastest ship on Terrace. He calls it the Ebon Hawk. Brezik is nothing but a punk. I don't know why those Volkers follow him. Gadden's ten times the man he is. And we got a lot of... A lot of people wandering around. Sounds like he cut himself off there. <laughs> Man, if it takes that long, I'm mean, granted we're hacking the uh, the program by injecting into it and stuff. But if it takes that long to load off the hard drive now, imagine how long the loading times must have been for this game in the past. And look, they even have like, look at that fog. You can't even see into there unless you're at an angle. And then the reason for that is basically, uh, I think they just render like a square as your viewing area. So if you go from the center of the square to the side, it's like what uh like for a unit square it'd be one but then you go to the corner and it's like 1.414 or something like that i forget the exact value but that's basically what's happening there and why you can see stuff at an angle you also notice it's basically the exact same layout as in textures as the cantina on the upper city except we get like the blaster scorch marks and missing panels and stuff so, I mean, all in all, very cheap and simple, but a nice way of differentiating between the two. In any case, let's talk. Let's make our rounds in this cantina. What are you talking about? Mule I want to ask you some questions. Tell me about Davik. What a juma wanna who wama hu hu na tek. I want some general information on the lower city. Kuyami jus chikata na patoga ya fulki gokoga la chichi. Ga wana bot atangwa. Kegidora te kun wata te mana ia bola. Tell me about the hidden backs. Weetam. Boragatong, Mulira a shanturungum ni na potata twanga chun tise, Igrutu haga jijiwa, Wata juma wana hu wama hulhu na teg. Tell me about the black bulkers. Ke puna, puna nai chatu, chimba mulira tawana, toh chimba no kunik, kamadumba ku peliano momakata, wanga kubist. Tiabol Mulia Ka Ching Chana Nawagata Kon 
Cabo do Pacu, pelia on ponentea. Cabo do Pacu, pelia mukapata. Bonana chaku. I kun kono pule marak chico. Tong na bung shanuta. Cabo bol pa pulji kuna. Do you know anything about those Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity? Manaman Atota! Haki Jukrata Bola Shui Tungatong! Jong no Bunka Mulera Kunkile! Kunkile no Ba! What in the Chocolo Ono no Ku Mulera? What on the Awama Mulera? Kenjun Jupa Shak! No Bully Mulera Ji Jonitun Turji Chiwi Itato! Bola una tichek, pala mure slimo wanga kun bisching. I'll be going now. Unda tiho tonga kun hanka bi, wana kun bes ching pala mule tonking ba nunotek, tuk ninja tu kun de mule rabes. Well, bye. See me. We'll buy some cards from him later, but I want to keep our money for other things for now. Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelroot. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. Why were you banned? A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. There's no justice. My lucky Pazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the Upper Cantina. Since then, I've been desperate to find a match. I want to ask you some questions. If you want to ask questions, go talk to Zax in the bounty office. He knows everything that's happening on Taurus. I'm just here to play for Zach. So do you want to play or not? I'll be going now. If you're ever looking for a match and you get tired of posturing in the upper cantina, just come down here and find me. I'll play you anytime. Go away. She's gonna eat you. Kimba Muli Rab wanna G. Kimba no kun nitsat about it. Kakin cha na wabaka on. Tung abashun ni chun chi. Kipona. Kava tumpa kulpa yiya moka paata. Chi yoka ku tumpa kulpa yiya. One. Oscar. She's gonna eat you. The hupa botinya no gigi piti. Kipona. Kava tumpa ku pelea muka pata. Gio ka ku tumpa ku pelea. Two. Gio ka ku kumba muli rab wana ji. Ku yami juski chika nai. Kupa baska duana chichopa muska. Jiska da soki kupa bona na chanchu. Tune pudu. Rana nu prata tunko shirkasha. Jum na pike. Three. Go away. I saw how, how you mopped up those black bulkers. Nice work. One. Fine, I get it. I'll leave you alone. Smart. He obviously doesn't want to be disturbed. But I'll take their loot since he doesn't seem to be too interested in it. Oh, that's how I got... Okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking because I, I was... Uh, my first run through here in one of the videos that ended up having like the bad audio um, I had more credits than I thought when I was talking to the hut and it must have been because I picked up the credits from this guy All right in any case, let's see uh, I can't wait for the big swoop race. I hear Volkers have a new engine. That's gonna break all the records We'll make our rounds here so let's start by visiting the local landlord. And actually, before we talk to him, there's actually a little mini side quest thing we'll do here. I'm saving because uh, there's a bit of random chance in here that can get annoying. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata, bonanakachu, yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong nabun shanuyang. 
ak ti konto ona chaba chisa wanki ti toki grantu kon chip chan kun green kanchon to pro bok wala no bok cha ni chi kon chuba kin lota ikku why don't you have a partner kipona bona na kichu kin ba mule radwana don kin ba no kunok nek kava numpa kun pialia monokata ranga kun bis kin no monuat Kakin chana kwana poton. Tangabun shan om nang. Wanga kun bis kin ba mula ra. Choni yun tun jiji ida dwana. Kawa bun pa muji gumana. Maybe I could be your partner. We team and bon rank thong. Muli ra on shan touring um ni patoka wanga chon zi te. Ika krotu haku jije. Atu yama kama wuna henak neck. What other choice do you have? Kin kun shi kakchin awana wamata. Ni shi la chorga kin kun pala mona reji. Ching pala niska mule tun rata tigin po dranko. The searcha doma wana kunda tama. Randi i chawa tongbola johnny ku. Yuma wama nibo lora wensha waga shi ching. Ta kum justak miki grabble moglo. Kachichu ita motunga. Dolba bank wale uganda naru chuchut. Pogesha punka bola wana chikne. Pa mule slimo poda da da nanga kumbist mule rabest. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tonking ba nunodak. Tuk nin cha tu kun ne mule rabest. Gen chopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun. Watu yama kama wana henak nek. Bugra shak kun ti chi wa un chawa. Tong abuk shami no nok, bona na kachu, kicha badwang, wanga kum kiba bu mule ra, kakin chak nawa gawa bakon, tong kiba nukunek, tong abuk sha um nak nong. Join them by dancing very close and face to face. Not what I would call very close, and yeah. Okay, we'll just skip through this. Because now I don't care. Oh, you can do this. <laughs> just run around there in circles. I like how they can't make them go perfectly in circles, so he's got to do like four lines. Okay. But yeah, basically you can see here, you have options to either help her or sabotage her performance. And that face-to-face uh, -face one, it's like a 50% chance for my character with his current dexterity to do that. Okay, so we actually, despite that, all the odd stuff we did there, we uh, still got to the audition. So I suppose I don't need to reload, but I do want to reload anyways. Uh, because I want to talk to Bibsarul. What are you talking about? Pograshi on the Uncompa, Chintomo Muchuba, Lodanita Kun, Ida Patisa Batua, Cachatu Tung, Pograsha Kun Tichaka Um, Chubacaha, Chopa, Chawachuish, Yunku, Jodo, Jitbunga Ranta, Takunjus Tak Miki, Grabble Moblo, Cachichu, Ita Botunga, Tonobank, Waleo Ganda Naru, Chuchut, Pogesha Punga, Bola Wana Chikne. Mule slimo, puna na nanga, kumbist, mule rabes, chi gratu, noda, pograshi, onion compa, chintomo mochuba, noda nita kun, ita patisa batua, kachatutung, pograsha kun tijaka um, chubakaha, chopa, chawachuish, yunku, jodo, jitbunga rantang. 
Where's her partner? Kabo dumpa ku palia mukapata bunana chaku i kung kono bule marachi ko tong na bong sa nunya kababol pa bulje kuna. Maybe I could help her out. Chan chan bulara umlau cheese kaduchi on chuban jiska yanki tito ke gratun chicha kun king kacha chono bra. Bogra wala ni tumba cha nechi chuna chuba ching lorda ita ku shangji locha wana wama kava bolpa mulji kumuna chichun chichine chene no bale mule raji kum wana mungkus bes chinga pula mula today rana prata tungo such a tomam toma. All right, and actually now I'm gonna resave there just so we don't have to repeat his dialogue at least. All right, so her dialogue is the same. I'm good enough to get you through your audition. The search at Doma wanna kunda tama. Run the ichawa tongbola Johnny Ku. You talk run the di can chop. Alright, that's all the same too. I wasn't I don't know why I was waiting for him to go through it. So we're gonna do the same thing. And hope that this time the RNG works out. Tag this to Punko cookie back panka. Ching para chiska mule tuna rana nu prata tunko si cha tuma wamama tuks keba toba ni sha julorcha king kuno bule rajiko kudu tuni rama na praka donko sercha chupa panki bona na kachu kicha badwang wanga kum kiba bu mule ra kakin chak nawa gawa bakon donk kiba nukunek I like how they're also just using these canned animations too that most certainly is not the type of dancing he's looking for. Uh, we'll join her by cl dancing close. Mm -hmm. Close beside her. I'm not sure which one would be the harder one, but well, at least. Ni tam borakatong punira ashang turong ni na potata tuanga chun tize igruto haga jijiwa wata juma wana hu wama hulhu na teg. We team and borang tong mulira on shad turing um ni patoka wanga chun zite ika kratu haku jije patu yama kama wuna henak neck. We could at least follow her request for a slightly easier time on that middle one. And now she wants us to keep it simple. But uh, I suppose two is always the hard one. Let's see, is he gonna go flying backwards? Oh, I think he's got this one. Ha <laughs> Chachiska to punta casa, baka, bana uto. Mokao danya poki, chachiska to punta kakas baka, bana uto. Takung justak miki, grabble moko, kachichu ita motunga, tolba bank, waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punka, bola wana chikne, mamule slimo, puta dana kumbis. Alright, 
Ti Um Pekrita. We team and go rank thong. Muli ra un shantoring um ni patoka wanga chon zi tse. Ika krotu haku jije. Atu yama kama wuna henak nek. Okay, so we did get more experience points, I guess. Because I think last time we only got 100. So you must get like 100 for the hard option and 50 for every easy option. And then maybe, I don't know, negative points or something or 50 points for the screw up option. And then zero if you do it one or two and screw up. That would be my guess anyways. Anyways, don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. Since uh, she's kind of a little bit of a bit of a snooty person. <laughs> like all of a sudden she's too good for me. Which honestly, like I don't care about the hug. It's just the concept stick with the more than anything else. Out. They're usually less dangerous than the government funded contracts. Okay, I don't know why that zoomed in, but he was in English. Oh, my eyes are just bugging me today. Must be allergies or something. What say you, bounty hunter? All right, so let's talk to Zax now. For Davik, Davik Post Bounties in a government office. Is that even legal? Tell me about the bounties. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of your victims. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. Okay, 
Bayawa Najik ni Kamu Islam Bapa Tanah Wangga Kombis Mulera Dest I want more details on the bounties you're offering. Rundi hau tongga tong kimba nang kongkek. Wanda kumbes cinta yamui kunhunggabe. Tuk neng tangjo kunne mule rabes. How nice of him to uh, give us information even though he gave it to us already. But the reason I'm going through his dialogue is mainly because I want his take on these contracts. So tell me about the assassin, Selvin. ever find out who hired Selvin to kill them all. So this is actually a very different era for Alderaan because you may have recognized the Organa family name. Excuse me. You may have also recognized Ogul because um, I believe the our introductory character uh, was named Trask Ogul, memory serves. So he was an Alderanian of the Ogul family as well. So in this era, Alderaan is not like the peaceful pacifists that we uh, know from like episode four of uh, Star Wars. They are beset by at this point, maybe not quite civil war, but there's definitely a lot of competition between the um, between the different families, and they have a lot of royal families. I know there's the Organas, there's the Ogles. There's a couple more I can't remember. Uh, the Old Republic goes a lot more in depth into that sort of thing, because um, you end up helping out the Organas if you're on the Republic side, and then whoever their opponent is if you're the uh, on the Imperial side. I think the I forget which side the Ogles ended up being in there, but um, but yeah, there's a lot of factional politics and uh, occasionally conflict on Alderaan during this period. So I want to ask you about one of the other bounties. Tell me about Bendek Starkiller. Yeah, 
about one of the other bounties. Tell me about this girl, Dia. I get the feeling there's more to this story. I want to ask you about one of the other bounties. Tell me about this merchant Largo. So you may recall that was one of the people we found hiding in the towers in the upper city and we gave him the credits to pay his debt. So we saved his life at least. I have more questions about the bounties. I want more details on the bounties you're offering. Tell me about Matrix. But didn't the government protect Matrick after the trials? Davik's bounties sound more like contract killings. How do I collect the credits for these contracts? Well, that's pretty convenient. Uh, I need some information separate from the bounties. Seems a little high just for information. I'll give you 50. Okay, 
Mungkin selima bodoh nak mulai lagi kun. No warung di hatung nak tuhun kali taris mbak taris. Tung jene ya hak kono. Mulai rayu nunase. Jiji ngui bedua nai tawis mulai nebone. Ula natu la boda ya mijusa. Ayo hono pis tuul laji yo kaku Tung batoras makilia Hehe asyuta Wonga kumbis jol piki kunyana Tell me about those escape pods that crash into the undercity Punira manu prata tunkyo Sercha toma toma Tawa wul pamilji Kumana Kinkun shashi king Nikin kun nila mule ra ji kun Wanda kun bes Cinta ya muli Tunera na no kwata dunko Aku cintu pa Cino mule ra kin haja Slima pui tua na Excuse me I need to get inside the black bulker base Ta chi cho nai ta ho dunga Tau pun justak mikke kabri boga Tur pada buku ayah gando dan agak cucut Boga asam pumpa Boyawan najik ni Bamul selimbo poda na wangga kumbis Muli ragest Lagu dan awingki semak toba Hingking selimbo podo na muli racikun Lola rundi hatung na kuhung kari Tell me about the lower city gangs. Rundi hautong ratong kinta ng kongkik. Wana kumbis cinta yamul kunung kabi. Tuk ming tangjo kune muli rabes labuda na wengkis matoba. Hingking slimo podo na muli racikun. Nova rundi hautong na kuhung kabi jiyo kakol muli rap. Kunjo pesak, no mabuli raji. Jeliyo torang si aitatia, mula una jime, mabuli ras limo ang nakubisting. Oh, an information on something else. Kunta toras matilia, hehe, asuta, unga kubisto piki kuyana. Is there some way I can get off this planet? Kipona, ona na kacho, kimba muli ratwana, na upa bo tenya go chocho piti. Kawa tumpa kulpa hiya mo kata, wanga kumbis, kimba muli ra. Ka kincha na kokba kot, kawa tumpa kulpa hiya bo tenya. Rundi hautong ratong kimba ng kongke. Wana kumbes, cinta yamul, kunung kabi. Tuk ng tangjo, kune muli rabes. Codes? What codes? Ta chicho na ita hautong nga. Tau kung justak ni kegrabi boga. Tur pa da buko ay agando da naga chuchut. Boga sa pumpa. Boyawan na chick ni Bamul slimbo po da na wangga kumbis Muli rages Tulpa da bukwe ya gando da na go chuchut Kawan na buta Awi at tagwa kang kidora Jilo mula binipomo Wangga kumbis kang Bamuli ra Tung ha ito ang jiji yumalik pa Pagin ko tutong abog siya umenong Karagol pa mulsli Kumanabang muli ra Suni yun tong jiji ay nagwana Karagol pa mulsli Kumana Tell me about Davik Tumiran na no prata tong siyo Sancha toba toba Karagol pa mulsli Kumana Kim kun sa si Kim, ni Kim kun na wala na si Kim. Wala kung bes, kita yung buli. 
poner a mano plata de un copa es mano es don yo me haga como me le rayo no me hace y chingo y de buena y tawis no le debo a mí o la matu la boda y a mi chusa ay ojo no quis tu ula chio kaku I want to meet Dabby. Ahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah
Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. I want to ask you some questions. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davig, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Tell me about the Lower City Gangs. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Why did Brezhik leave the Hidden Backs? When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Becks from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Tell me about Kalo Nord. Kalo Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo's been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. I'll be going now. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. What the poor Wookiee eat? Jeez. And also no action around here? I mean, Cal Nord just killed people for trying to talk to him. And you got bullied by a bunch of Black Valkers until Zalbar stepped in. No action. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I just want to ask you some questions. What planet are you from? What kind of creature are you? Can you tell me about your homeworld? I notice your other head doesn't say much. What do you know about Terrace? I guess I'll be going now. Alright. 
And it looks like no one in here has any dialogue besides him. And he's just kind of a fun little one-off interesting creation. Probably was meant to be used more, but if I remember right, this is, excuse me, one of the only times, if not the only time, we actually see his species in this game. All right, one last lap to make. We can see these black Volkers uh, don't particularly want to talk. Neither do the Twi'lek dancers or the musicians. I like, I find it funny how that one citizen said the gangs don't come in here, but this place does seem to be crawling with black Volkers and these guys Especially, these remind me of, was it the Vorcha from Mass Effect? Something about them just reminds me of them. Anyways, let's talk to this dickbag over here. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? You're the guy who put the bounty on Dia's head, right? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. And why would she do that? Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. No big deal for you, maybe. Sounds like you got what you deserve. Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. I want the bounty on Dia's head removed. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. Would it be a shame to kill her? Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. If you hire someone to kill Dio, it'll look like you weren't man enough to do it yourself. Well, I guess you may be right. Besides, I've noticed some of the girls around here are giving me the cold shoulder since all this started. Okay, you win. Dia can live. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. All right, that's right, get the fuck out of here. So we learned a couple important things today, mainly that Davik has the fastest ship in the sector, the even Hawk. So we'll probably want that if we're going to be breaking through any Sith blockades. We learned that the even Hawk is located at Davik's um, estate, and the only way we're going to get in is if Davik wants to meet us. So we're going to have to get his attention somehow. Now the escape pods that landed in the under city. Uh, our first bit of information was that both of the gangs probably stripped them, so... And then the hut in their Zack said that it was likely the Black Volkers that had gotten to them first. So now we know that the Black Volkers likely have, uh, what's-her-face? And that we'll need to, uh... Oh no, I didn't save. Oh, shit. This is way too many enemies. I did not want to start off. Okay, so we got some respawning enemies here, as you can see. Hey, there we go. Karth leveled up. And now he's dead. Nope, now he's dead. There we go. I was not expecting those Black Vulgars to come back. I think her corpse is still empty. Yeah. So with Karth leveling up, I didn't expect to have to do that bit of leveling up today either. There we go. We got some credits. Some more credits. Uh-huh. 
Okay, so we'll level him up for skills. Uh, he only gets one skill point, so I guess we're good on awareness, so I guess he can be our medic. Uh... No, his wisdom's low. Honestly, his best skill is dexterity. And none of these really use... Well, stealth uses dexterity, but I don't think he can stealth. Yeah, I guess treat injury. <laughs> as far as feats go, we see he has improved two-weapon fighting. He can wear heavy armor. Power attack, power blast, which are kind of meh. He's got Weapon Specialization Blaster Pistol. He's proficient with rifles, heavy weapons, melee weapons. Dueling, we don't want to give him because of his dual weapon. Uh... Yeah, if anything, I would give him rapid shot. But I don't like how it lowers their defense. So, like, you could use this if you wanted to clear out some low-level enemies, but... And he needs to be at least level 8 before he can master two weapon fighting. So honestly, for his feet, we should probably just go d down the uh, toughness tree. Alternatively, we could respec him to use uh, a single blaster pistol, which would up his two hit chance immensely at the cost of him doing only one attack every round. But yeah, I think for now we'll just do toughness. And we'll accept that. And that heals him right up. So I think... Let me check my... Uh, I just want to make sure we still have that Sith armor. We do. Okay. So, next episode we're probably... So if we want to see the hidden backs, they're going to be down that hallway. We know the Black Valker base is there, but we need a way in. So we're probably going to go back to the upper city because now there's a couple of things we can do to gain experience before we do anything else. And depending on how much it gives us, that might be enough for another level, which would let us probably go for another round in the dueling ring. But that'll be for next time. So with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there. And we'll see you then.